Hello and welcome to another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. In this video I'm going to show how to set up a part in a rotary axis. Uh, this is going to use a three jaw chuck fixture that has been created. If you want to use that and you do not have one, feel free to check out the link in the description where I will have a list to the videos and solid model files that go over that. So for starters, what I'm going to do is design a part quickly in the CAD. Uh, this is just going to be a simple round part with a couple of holes in it, nothing, nothing extreme, uh, but just something to do real quickly. So I'll go to design in the model tab and I'm going to choose my plane. I want to draw this uh, with the x-axis in mind uh, because the rotary table will be sitting on the left hand side. So I'm going to choose that plane and I'm going to go to sketch. And now I'll click the middle mouse wheel button and I'm now looking at it from the top. I'm going to grab a circle here and drag this out and let's, let's just do it about an inch here, all right? Uh, deselect it, we wanna type in an inch. All right, and go off of sketch, click it. I'm gonna move it this way and we'll just drag this out. Uh, we'll do about two inches in length. Uh, nah, uh, yeah, we'll do about two inches in length here. Uh, all right, now we can click this and we wanna do tangent plane. I'm gonna do this right here. 90 degrees and that's just so we can draw it on the top of the part and I can now click this and go into sketch and again hit there hit the middle mouse button on the wheel there and let's just pick a spot here and draw a circle all right uh, in this case we'll do a half inch circle okay and I can now deselect it click the circle uh, actually get rid of the sketch here, click the circle, and drag it down. We're only going to have this go down about like 0.3, let's say. And let's say we want to do this exact same circle 180 degrees, so we'll do symmetrical on it. Uh, we'll do uh, and then a new pattern, and we'll do, you just want to choose symmetrical there, and it will do it 180 degrees across from you. All right, so we've got our two holes there, and this part, we'll just take this into SprueCam to, uh, to set up. So I've got my part here, and first things first, I'm going to go to Structure and Part and just get my part created here. I am now going to go into uh, my Tormach PCNC up here and choose Machine Setup and Tooling, and we want to use the horizontal axis A, okay? Now I'm going to go into fixtures here and I'm going to hit load and I want to choose the three jaw six inch chuck that I have created uh, beforehand. Once again, if you need to see this, it is, or if you need to add this in or you want to add something like this in, you can do so uh, in the description. There is a link to a page that has uh, more information on that. So. I'm in here now. Uh, let's go down to our part then, and we need to give this some stock. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to delete the stock that's in there, and I want to do primitive, and we're going to do a cylinder, and we'll do a round part, uh, and let's go in the x-axis, and for the radius, let's add, let's turn off same stock, outer radius, let's add uh, 50 thou around it and then on the positive axial let's add uh, not one inch let's do a hundred thou and on the back side let's do two more inches of material and that's what we'll use to just kind of clamp on to uh, we'll do one inch let's just do one inch uh, we will hit add okay so our part is now looking like this so we want to get our work offset to the end and push this out and get our jaws clamping onto this. So let's close out. We will go to our part and uh, we'll go into actually our Tormach PCNC here. Let's open the jaws out. Okay. And 
move them down and they will just clamp onto that piece right there, okay? And so now we can then go to our part one and in here, setup, we can go to workpiece setup and we can now bump this out. Uh, we can go as far as we want. We can use this to drag, you know, wherever we want it to kind of be. I think that looks about good probably right there. Hit OK. And then workpiece setup, hit the three dot button, grab the G54 and snap it right to the center on the end. And then hit OK. And that is essentially it. Uh, we can now go in here and do our our operations. We could go however we wanted to attack this. We could say, uh, you know, let's just do a roughing water line and say, this is our, our part right here. There are the spot on it that we want to go. Faces, uh, choose a little bit smaller tool here. Diameter 0.25. Uh, let's give it a two inch length and run it. And away it cuts. Uh, so you can then just program however you normally want. But this essentially will give you a kind of a, just a quick little little how-to as to how to use this, this fixture here and uh, how to get your parts going for, for quick, quick, easy setup. If you don't need to draw, you just import in your model and uh, proceed as you normally would. Uh, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.